What's up? What's up? This is Royce the Five Nine. I want to send a shout out to Mikey T, the movie star. Love and respect to all. Peace. So, Royce, you know, you started a podcast with Lupe Fiasco. Um, Royce, can you tell me about joining up with Lupe Fiasco for a podcast? Yeah, Lupe. I always, always like Lupe. Um, I just met Lupe, like, um, like maybe within the last couple of years, you know. Um, I just always liked him. I always liked his music. Um, I always liked um, – some of the some of the stances I've seen him taking in passing, um, and I just I just decided to call him one day and ask him how he felt about maybe coming together and doing doing something. And it just so happened that he was already working on a podcast with with my man Tom Frank. It was just them two, and they were trying to figure out um, like a sweet spot. They were trying to figure out if it's something that they wanted to do or not, and he couldn't fight, quite catch it. So he was like, man, you caught me at the right time, bro. So he just kind of pulled me in and we just started, you know, we just started recording. You know, they started out a little bit shaky, you know what I'm saying? Then we started to find a sweet spot and we started to enjoy doing it, you know what I mean? And that's really what, what it's kind of like about, right? It's just about um, coming together and just doing things and just doing cool shit that, that, that you enjoy doing, you know what I mean? That's worth you know, it's worth your, your time. You know what I mean? The, the pandemic got every, everything so fucked up. You know what I mean? Like everybody's kind of like hyper-focused on their computer and we looking at all of this horrific shit. You know what I mean? So it's good to be able to just apply apply some energy into something that just that just that you enjoy doing. You know what I mean? And that's kind of like what, what me and Lupe are doing. You know what I mean? So that's pretty much that. Let everybody know what the podcast is called, uh, where they can find it, when they can find it, you know, all the general stuff about it. It's called the Lupe and Roy Show. Um, you can check us out on, a, on Patreon. You can, we got a Patreon page. I don't even know how you can do that, but I'm pretty sure you can find it. You can find um, the Lupe and Roy Show on YouTube and all of the streaming platforms. Um, and also look for it on a platform called Say What Media as well. All right, I'll definitely put a link for that, man. And, you know, uh, what did you make of recently when Lupe actually put it out there that you had felt a way about Cassidy? I don't know what the fuck he said that for. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I know, it threw me off. He was trolling. He was trolling. Lupe is crazy, man. He's crazy. But I didn't – if I had a, if I had been a little bit more aware of, like, the way that people receive him, and I could have got out ahead of that, you know what I'm saying? But um, one thing led to another. I'm looking at on YouTube one day, and I see Cassidy on a live stream with Mickey Fax asking him, yo, I heard Royce was bringing my name up. What did he have an issue with? And Mickey Fax is just sitting there talking to him like, I don't know, man. Maybe he's uh, did you look at his page? And I'm thinking to myself, like, you about to let this man feel like I got an issue with him and you just did three live streams with me. I called Mickey cussing like a motherfucker, like, man, what the fuck? And it made me mad because I don't want my name associated with no energy, with no energy that is not the energy I intend. I, yeah, it threw me off. I reserve the right to be intentional about the way I do everything. So if I'm giving you props, if I'm giving you your flowers, I'm gonna be intentional about that. I'm not subliminal. I don't have a subliminal bone in my body. So if I need to speak to you about something, if I need to check you about something, or if I need to say something disparaging about you, I'm gonna be really intentional about that. So I don't play the middle. I don't do the gray area. It's we gonna do this or we gonna do that. Hopefully we're gonna do this because I love peace, but Cassidy's name coming up in that context is ridiculous. I got nothing but the utmost respect for him as a lyricist. And the last thing I would want for him to think is that somebody like myself, a decorated lyricist, is sitting around somewhere having a problem with something that he got to say in an interview that ain't none of my business. I'm not even, that's not even a part of my genetic makeup. So it was more of a, it was more, I was more offended by that. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, man, but Mickey didn't mean, he didn't mean anything by it because Mickey is my man too. You know what I'm saying? It's just that 
somewhere along the way, he appointed himself to be like the liaison between everybody, and he just kind of dropped the ball in that spot. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's kind of understood now. Well, definitely, man. I was like, I was like siphoning through all of it. I'm like, damn, I got to watch a, an hour over here. I got to watch 45 minutes over here just to see what Royce might have said about Cassidy. You know what I'm saying? I don't speak on people like that. Yeah. So uh, you said that you are actually uh, a fan of him. You've been watching him. What have you made of Cassidy's return to battle rap, man? It's interesting to say the least. It's interesting. It's interesting. I think um, I think he's bringing an energy that's been very necessary, very necessary, and I, I'm enjoying it. It's 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 interesting to watch. You know what I'm saying? Like he's funny. I never I never knew him to be funny. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like when he was in, when he was making music when he was just focused on strictly making music. It's like he ain't never even smile. You know what I'm saying? Like he just was about bars, just tearing shit up all the time. You know what I mean? So it's interesting to see him funny and talking about like the science and shit like that. Because when I was talking about like the hip hop side of Detroit back in the day, you'd be at the hip hop shop, all of those conversations about the science, syllable connections and, and, and like just the techniques involved in the pen. Like we would have, we would have those conversations night all day all day you know what i'm saying so it's like i thought i thought us in detroit was the only ones who cared about that kind of shit like me and marshall still talk about that kind of shit all the time you know what i'm saying so it's interesting to hear him hear him talking about it and then you know as far as his as far as his battles it's interesting to me that all of these guys that are killers hit man holler disaster arsenal uh goods who else did he get he got some he got one more person too that was it. Uh, he's had four. He's had Goods, Disaster, Arsenal, and Hitman Holla. Okay. Well, according to according to what the status quo said, they were all supposed to desecrate him. All of them were supposed to desecrate him, and none of them did. I find it interesting that um, every time, like a, a, a quote unquote established rapper decides to make that pivot into the battle rap ring, they always are concerned about the quote unquote industry person going and being able to perform in the battle rap ring. And they always say, yo, if Eminem came, we would destroy him. And if Royce came, we would destroy him. And I disagree because I, Joey went in there, he battled Hollow the Don. Hollow the Don was supposed to desecrate him. He couldn't figure out how to. Cassidy battled all these killers. They can't figure out how to. I'm starting to look at them and think to myself well, that maybe it's difficult for y'all to battle somebody or come up with the proper direction to battle somebody that's pop more popular than you. That's not an easy thing to do. You know what I mean? Now, he ain't battle Mook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Mook is a different story. Daylight is a different story. You know what I'm saying? But Hitman Holla, Arse, Disaster, Good, good, so slick with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I just thought somebody, I thought somebody was gonna give Cash like a, a problem. I thought they were gonna give him a problem, but I mean, shit, he went up there and he did him. You know what I'm saying? And he represented shit for the, for the industry side. You know what I mean? So so far, we ain't really took no L's, bro. So Royce, you also said that battling is on your bucket list. Would, would Cassidy be at the top of that list? Or tell me a couple artists or battle rappers that would be at the top of your list. I haven't thought, I haven't thought that far into it. You know what I mean? Like, I, don't, I definitely don't have a list. Um, it's, not, it's not one of those things where I'm, where I'm looking at anybody um, in particular. Uh, I literally, man, if it makes sense, I'll battle literally anybody because I just feel like it's going to be the same result anyway, whether it's Cassidy or whoever it's going to be. You know what I mean? Like, so it really doesn't matter to me. You know what I mean? It just had to be the right fit at the right time for the right price. And it, it had to be the right event. It had to be, it had to bring the right energy to the culture. You know, we're going to be a part of it. We're going to make it, we're going to make it count. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make it the most amazing thing we've ever seen. The most amazing thing we've ever witnessed. You know what I mean? So it could be, it could be one of plenty of people. Cassidy could, could be one of those people because he brings a lot of viewership. 
to the table, you know, if that's something that he would be open to. I'm definitely open to discussing that, but I haven't thought about um, anybody in particular. I ain't have anybody in mind like that. It's just, it's just shit talking, shit talking and wishful thinking. I love the competitive side of it. Hoping, hoping that it'll inspire something in one of the youngins, you know what I'm saying? 